has to offer. Hey, Kelsey. Good morning, Nick. Yeah, chubby cattle is basically combining an ancient tradition in China with modern vibes, I guess is the best way to put it. I don't know. It's a really cool concept. It's right along 10th Street in Chinatown. Uh, when you walk in here, first off, you're just going to be blown away by how modern everything is. There's a conveyor belt. There's a food train. There's iPads at every table. Uh, but then you're also going to be really surprised when you look at the menu and you see see that there is A5 Wagyu beef straight from uh, Japan, and then it is topped with 24 karat gold. That's what we got right in front of us. And the craziest part is you get it raw. We're going to do that in just a minute. But first, I'm going to talk to Matthew and Kevin here. Uh, and we are going to talk a little bit about what you get to do when you come in. And by Kevin, I mean David. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Um, and we are going to make dipping sauces. So when you come in, one of the things you get to customize is a dipping sauce. So Matthew, the general manager, is mm -hmm. going to explain that a little yeah. bit to us. Yeah, first of all, this is our uh, house dipping sauce right here. It's soy sauce base mixed with palm juice and lemon juice. And you, can, you also can see we have uh, sauce trays here. All these ingredients you can add into the sauce to give the sauce more flavor. So if I want to make my own, I'm going to start with this. This is the base. Yes. And then we're just going to scoop some stuff in and put it in. Mm -hmm. Right here, we have uh, dry chilies, garlic, oyster sauce, peanuts, chili oil, Chinese barbecue sauce, cilantro, and green onions. My favorite recipes would be uh, Chinese sauce, uh, I mean the Chinese barbecue sauce mixed with green onion and cilantro. Well, then I'll take your suggestion. So just like a little scoop? Yes. And put into the sauce. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. More? Or is that good? That's good. And This as, one? Yeah. Stanchos. Okay. Yeah, a little bit. And a little bit green onions. And then you just kind of mix it around? Yes. So basically you have a customized dipping sauce. And the sauce yeah. itself is good mm -hmm. by itself. But if you want to add stuff in, that's up to you. Yes. And that's a dipping sauce that we can use for this beef right here. For hot pot and our beef dishes. Okay. So tell us a little bit about, David, uh, a little bit about this beef and, uh, I mean, Raw beef, can you really eat it that way? So the beauty of this dish right here is that it's shipped straight from Japan. Um, you have your A5 Wagyu from Kobe. Uh, and because of the marbling content and how it is, it's eaten a sashimi st style, which is you can eat it raw. It tastes, uh, tastes almost like tuna for those sushi lovers to, you know, to relate. But it's definitely something that you have to try uh, for yourself. Well, I'm going to try it. I will admit I'm a little nervous about raw beef, but our photographer already was on top of the game. Pull the little flower off there. Uh, and he already tried it and he said that it was fabulous, so I'll dip it in our customized dipping sauce. Oh wow! And it's actually so good. Yeah, it melts in your mouth. Yeah, the texture is not weird. I was worried about what the texture would be like, but you're right, it kind of just melts in your mouth. Yeah. That's amazing. All right, so Chubby Cattle, once again, located in Chinatown on 10th Street. Really great first date spot. We were talking about that earlier because it's a super interactive meal. You're basically creating everything yourself. So not only are you talking and getting to know each other, but you're kind of doing an activity. And the partners and owners of this, all from local Philadelphia schools, Temple, Drexel, uh, Penn, and they also have locations right now in Denver and Vegas, and they are expanding. So, Nick, I'm going to send it back to you. I'm not going to lie. That was actually really, really good. Uh, I was definitely nervous about it, but I would highly suggest trying it. Yeah, we love the concept, Kelsey. I imagine it was uh, terrific. That's premium beef. But we were laughing in the studio because we did a story earlier that uh, millennials don't go on first dates. So I don't know who's going to be going on dates there. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, maybe come with your family. <laughs> there you go. Bring a big party there. Love it. All right, thank you very much, Kelsey. Yeah. Well, coming up, this uh, this is going to be awesome for you here. Singers, CC.